so you just got here maybe a day ago, you're leaving tonight, you're still on your race. <laughs> <laughs> Not to extinction. <laughs> Not towards extinction, I hope. Um, what it tell us what, what the uh, closing film of this um, Dominican uh, Republic uh, Environmental Film Festival is, uh, is going to show and reveal to the audience? Uh, uh, you know, well, I, I worked with National Geographic for about 20 years as a still photographer, and I did four stories about extinction, you know, the, the Mesozoic, the midlife of the planet. And I wrote a book about paleontology. It's was, it was called Hunting Dinosaurs. And uh, when I was with my first film uh, at Sundance, I, um, I brought two books with me to the, the film festival. And one of them was by a friend of mine, Michael Novacek, who runs the American Museum of Natural History in New York. And he's writing a book called Terra, and it's about, when I crack open the first few pages, he's talking about how we're losing species right now faster than scientists can even record that they're on the planet with us. And I thought, that's depressing. So I set it down. I picked up the other book by the chief marine scientist for Australia, and it was called A Reef in Time about the Great Barrier Reef. And he's talking about how we're losing the, the coral reefs right now because of acidification. And that's always what happens before a mass extinction event. And a mass extinction event is when you lose half or more of all the species on the planet. That's exactly what we're doing right now. And I didn't know about it. And I wrote a book on paleontology, so I thought, this is an important story. You know, maybe the most important story in the world because my friends in paleontology say that when you, we look back at the, the human experience 100 years from now, World War II will be a footnote in comparison to this generation presiding over the biggest loss of species possibly on the planet since the last 65 million years. Oh my god. I saw this little image that traveled on Facebook for a while, mm. which compared, said, uh, okay, human, okay, the world is like, I don't know how many thousands of millions of years. And billions. if you bring that down to, uh, to a scale of whatever, the, so the world is 40 years, no, the world is 4,000 years. We've been there, humans, like, uh, 30 minutes, and in the last 30 seconds, we have, you know, destroyed this and this and that. Yeah. I don't have the figure at all, but it was very shocking. Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's <clears throat> our time scale is, is messed up. We don't think, obviously, geologically. You know, when, you know yeah. if, if you compress 4.6 billion years of the Earth's history into a 24-hour clock, humans arrive just a few seconds before midnight, and all this destruction is happening in a very short, you know, yeah. uh, time frame. Um, you know, the last extinction was caused by a, a meteor that hit the Yucatan Peninsula 66 million years ago. This time, humanity is the asteroid. Wow. So, I mean, but uh, so, so I'll say it's a, the, 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 the film, the, 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 six the, six, six, the sixth mass extinction is called the Anthropocene, the Age of Man. And this is ironic because our own species name, Homo sapiens, means the wise ones. And. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who gave who gave the name. <laughs> at what time? <laughs> at what time we did it? Ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, right. You you you've been coming to this country for for the, the previous film. You shot the you cove. Shot parts of, of the cove here. Mm -hmm. uh, what was what what's your relationship to the country? Well, they have uh, Dominican Republic is uh, the most important area in the Atlantic for whales, but maybe in the world there's about 15,000 humpback whales that come down to Silverbanks. It's about 80 miles north of Salmon on the north of the country. Uh, five whale populations from the North Atlantic come down here to mate, to breed, to um, you know have babies, have calves, and so I've been here several times diving and a couple times for the cove, and some of the most important scenes in the cove were filmed here. There's a in fact, uh, I went out <laughs> dancing last night with this, uh, a guide, our guide, Oswaldo, and the movie starts out by me finding this buoy on a beach, and it's uh, the buoy, uh, there was a $500 reward, mm -hmm. and Oswaldo says, can you give this fisherman $500 and you can return it back up to the States? And I said, let me see this buoy, and uh, it was a friend of mine up in the, the United States that lost this buoy, it came out in a hurricane. And it washed up on the beach. And so that's the beginning of the movie because it's a, it's a very important scene because it's a recording buoy. It records uh, s songs in the ocean, sounds, of the, uh, everything with a heartbeat on the planet is singing. Everything from an insect, you know, you can hear the crickets and the cicadas, to birds, to blue whales and humpbacks, certainly humpback whales. And Chris Clark from the Cornell Bioacoustic Laboratory, who owned this buoy, uh, he's been recording animal sounds almost his whole life. 
and uh, it's the largest repository of animal songs and sounds in the, on the planet. They've been doing it, you know, since the 1930s. And that, that's kind of the premise of the movie. We, the original uh, title of the film was called The Singing Planet. Okay. Because everything's been singing, we just haven't been that's listening. Nice one, too. Mm. Nice one. Okay, Louis, so you have, uh, you have the um, closing ceremony tonight. Mm. I'm looking forward to it, yes. And I hope you have fun. I hope you have time to... Uh, to enjoy a little bit, <laughs> to relax. Yeah, we keep, will. Keep uh, flying around the world with uh, with a message of uh, hope, also. Oh my God, yes. I mean, the, the film is a thriller. It's a it's set up like the Cove, like it's an eco thriller. So it doesn't feel like uh, a, you know a documentary. This is going to give you a lot of information. It's it's, uh, it's actually I hate to say it, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> has to be, has to be, especially when the message is good. You yeah. Have to, you have to uh, hit the target and hit the yeah, girls. Exactly. Great. Great. Yeah. Really cool talking to you.